Pisces. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you are new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. I'm really happy you're here. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to what's this eight of swords about Pisces? <laughs> it's already wanting to be here. Jupiter and Gemini energy. Who's been Who's put themselves here? Who's been holding back? Let's get a look. Have a feeling that this is your person. We're just getting into your reading. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, <laughs> Venus signs. Welcome to another Pisces tarot reading. Pisces love tarot reading. Pisces love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Pisces love messages reading channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self, your specific person, the person on your mind. Maybe it's somebody popping in that you're not expecting. Their feelings for you, your feelings for them, who's making what move, if any, what's going on in your connection. Let's take a look at the energy. Eight of Wands and the Six of Wands. <laughs> I'll just tell you right off the bat, it's looking like somebody here wants to communicate with you. And yeah, there's something that they've got to say to you here. Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo, Eight of Wands, Mercury and Sagittarius. It's a fast energy. You're on their mind. They have a lot to say. What have they been holding back? And are they getting out of there? Okay, Pisces, <laughs> a few more things. Just to remind you that although I'm channeling for you in May 2024, and you could be here in real time, hello, <laughs> you could also be here many months, even years later, and that is because this is a timeless reading. You're here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection, it means there is a message here for you. And it's looking like it might be quite literal today, so let's get a closer look What's going on with the energy coming in? The Seven of Wands, interesting in the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, so here they come. Here you are saying, just a minute. Let me, <laughs> let me just get my wand here. Hold up. Mars and Leo energy, kind of, kind of a self-defense energy, you know, not wanting to be hurt. Interesting, because we are also seeing the Wheel of Fortune here, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy. They're really wanting to reach out. Wheel of Fortune, strong, well, connection to the throat chakra, communication. It's going to turn everything around. Are they turning it first and then communicating, or is this the communication that's going to change everything? Because this is a turning point. Fate, destiny, controlling what you can, Letting go of what you can't. There is some soulmate energy here. It's actually quite deep. And they are really wanting to communicate. Where are you at? Because you're, you're definitely holding that seventh wand up here, kind of fighting off the six of wands, which we heard he saw coming in. It feels like this is somebody who either was or is going to be persistent. Pisces, you'll find all your playlists down below, your Zodiac readings, the playlist for your Zodiac readings. I'm, you know what, what they have to say, I'm really curious because it just has this kind of this speedy, funny energy that's going on. The moon just wanted to reveal itself in reverse. Pisces, this is your energy. Cancer and Gemini is also here. I think somebody wants to open up and communicate with you. It's actually really clear. What have they been hiding? Are there some truths around feelings? Have they been hiding something else? Because we can see they've been quiet. Here in the Eight of Swords, Jupiter and Gemini energy kind of holding everything up here. It's where they put themselves. No contact. Not responding. No contact. No communication. And or in separation. So here's our moon we just saw, and here is the Three of Cups. This is so incredibly clear. They're really wanting to communicate with you. Mercury and Cancer Energy. If you can see your person in person, I want to say if there's an event, 
you know you're going to see them at or you could see them at, then you probably are going to see them there. <laughs> this is where the conversation is going down. But this is Mercury energy. So we could be talking SMS, social media, email. Do you normally talk on the phone? However, this communication is going down. This is a reunion energy. And again, it can be in person, but this is also just around the communication. And that's really clear. This crustacean is getting out of the way. Emotions are flowing here. But there's a strong opening up energy. What has been hidden? What truths have been hidden? Soul connection energy. And it's also telling me that it's kind of coming into that time for this to happen, for them definitely to get out of there. Okay, Pisces, what else was I telling you? All the zodiac signs, all the rest, all 12. <laughs> all 12 are down below in the description, the playlists. You'll also find all signs tarot readings. Those are collective love readings, love readings for the collective. If you're on a twin flame journey, there are also really long and depth twin flame readings. So feel free to explore if you are inspired to do so. Let's take a look at this energy coming in. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Very interesting. Most definitely a new cycle. Are they coming in here with commitment on their mind? Mercury and Virgo energy. Yeah, this is looking a lot like that. This is really long-term energy. It's, it's them showing up for it, and this is wanting to end the no contact, no communication, and or in separation. They're not liking it. They're definitely, it is just really clear. Eight of Wands, Six of Wands, Moon, Three of Cups. This is communication, Pisces, and it's right up your alley, I gotta say. It's feeling kind of emotional. You deduce these tens into a one, and you have an 11 here. Master number, new beginnings coming together. Something is, something, <laughs> something is going down here. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not, Pisces. Just need to fix my sweater. Thank you so much. Let's continue on. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show Pisces what else Pisces needs to see. Aho. Double in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah. How long have they been hanging out here? Look at this. Why are they apologizing? They're definitely wanting to come back in here because look at the indecisive energy. This is around next level. Marriage, perhaps. Moving in. Family, you could say babies. I don't generally go there in my readings here at the Tarot Closet on YouTube, but it is here. It's Ace of Cups, but it's in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, you're here. Also Scorpio, disappointing energy. This is why they're apologizing. Look, getting out of their ego here to apologize to you. This is somebody who has been really indecisive, afraid of commitment, most definitely have pulled themselves back. A strong lack of confidence in this next level, this completion energy here in our Two of Wands, which is in reverse, Mars and Aries energy. This is where their energy is the strongest, but they're everywhere here. You've been waiting for next level commitment here. And by the way, that Three of Cups, Four of Wands, if you can see your person, they might be doing this, <laughs> kind of following you around. This is an event because there is an energy of a gathering that might include some friends and families, a reunion, celebratory energy that you could be seeing them at. There's definitely a lack of confidence here as well, though, around, again, next level together, completion energy. Look what is here on our Two of Wands. Now, this is in reverse, so this is just issues moving forward. And I do want to tell you there's also specific issues with actual traveling, you know, so it could even be we're looking at some delays in that respect to a particular event. But I'll tell you that Mars energy, it's the planet of action. You know, it's drive, it's a completion energy. It's in reverse. It's like plans kind of falling apart, things not, somebody just having some trouble moving here. We already know that. But we also know in the Five of Pentacles here in reverse, Mercury and Taurus energy, that they are definitely wanting to come back in here. 
and this is what's on their mind. This hasn't been on their mind. See, this is the thing. <laughs> we saw that with the Ten of Pentacles. They really want to communicate with you. There is an apology here, a strong apology. Devil in reverse, Saturn and Capricorn energy. What shadow? So what's going on in here? Ego for sure, fear of commitment, indecisive energy, really, really strong. This could be around decisions, maybe even some discord that was going on around where you were going to move or what you were going to do or other people. Whatever the case is, it is around this commitment energy. It's very disappointing. It's feeling really let down. It might even be, I think this might also be you kind of pulling away here in this Eight of Swords because you also came through quite strong in that Seven of Wands of like, wait a minute, because they want to communicate with you. And again, if this is at an event, I think they're going to be following you around. But this is somebody I feel like, yeah, chickened out in the way of commitment. Next level, what is it? Was it just meeting? Seeing each other again for the first time? Talking? Going exclusive? Moving in marriage? What is it? Because they are showing up here for it. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Four of Wands. But there's the energy here too that they were, there were delays in this next level. There was fear around it and they are sorry for that. They have, they're even still not feeling incredibly confident as they come back in here to apologize. Queen of Wands in reverse here with their five of Pentacles in reverse and even the Two of Swords here. Look at this in reverse because this is the indecisive energy, but it's also somebody who's just kind of in their head overwhelmed. But there's something here around a compromise too that I just feel like was part of the letdown energy. So... Was this going exclusive, building a family, perhaps maybe even a move that needed to happen? Whatever the case is, it's clear they want to apologize. It's very clear they want to communicate. And there's something else on their mind here. This is somebody who still loves you, who obviously you still love. Two of Cups, Venus, and Cancer energy. The soulmate energy is strong. If you're on a twin flame journey, that is here too. It's a little different. It might be kind of some messages here that are a little bit different for you. But obviously, you know, if you're on a twin flame journey, not everybody is. They haven't let you go. Four of pentacles in reverse. But I'll tell you what, they're super freaked out and triggered here that I don't know, because I do feel like you have your guard up. And I don't know if there's something they've seen or heard. You know that. But there is a triggering energy here. It's really Sun and Capricorn energy, by the way. There's something that they need to, yeah, work out. And this Four of Pentacles is definitely connected to the devil in reverse because it's kind of like a, a, a dumb de decision they regret, a decision they made, and even a decision that they didn't quite make because they were so darn indecisive around commitment with you because they're really apologizing and they're triggering and they're worried. And I don't know if you're, this is a really interesting message for somebody. If you are, even if you're not gonna see each other, if it's possible to see each other, it could even be that there's somebody else on your, kind of on your arm, you could say. It might even be that they're seeing that online. Now, I don't think that that message is for everybody, but it is here. Look, the Six of Wands is back. Ace of Wands in reverse. This is, look at this. So it's both a delay in the apology communication, but it's around the deciding factor. They're coming in here now with the Six of Wands. It's back saying, yeah, this is what I want. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Six of Wands, Eight of Wands. I really want to talk to you. This is, this is somebody who's now coming to the sun energy here. Wanting to be, yeah, this is somebody who is coming to their senses, who is triggered, maybe seen or heard something here, but does love you wants to apologize, really wants to communicate with you. And it's just clear that you love each other, but there's definitely some defensive energy. So whatever happened here, but it's a strong energy for me that 
because this two of wands in reverse, Mars energy, again, the completion, because look what is here. It's the world. It's a little itty bitty world, but that's the world card energy. And that's a lot of completion energy right there. Getting out of no contact, no communication, delayed, moving forward. We can rewind a little bit here, going to the next level. We could be talking marriage, babies, combining families, going exclusive, introducing families, whatever this is, this is literally what you've been waiting for. That next level, it's extremely disappointing. They're sorry. They're ready. They're coming in with an apology and with some kind of offer here. So what they weren't ready for, which has been really delayed, it could we could be talking proposal energy, but you know, this could be around a lot of things. Moving in, going exclusive again. They're coming in here now ready for that and they're apologizing for this too look nine of pentacles these are both wanting to come in oh yeah yeah because we saw the ten of pentacles coming in and look what they did before you even got there they bolted they left a, a pulling away energy eight of cups your energy pisces saturn and pisces energy somebody who yeah who pulled away was this a slow withdrawal? Did they ghost? I feel like it was kind of a pulling away, pulling away. But it could be for some of you Then it was just like, there they go. Because it's the Nine of Pentacles. We saw the Ten coming in. They're, they're ready for this. They want this commitment. That's what they're coming in with. But here, it's one Pentacle shy, and then it's like, boom. It's in reverse here. You know, there's some issues, some setbacks. Even there, there has been some jealousy that I'm feeling. I feel like it's current. But there could be some past jealousy issues as well but this page of pentacles as my mom would say farting around wasting time holding on to this commitment energy so long that they either lost you or yeah just slipped away whatever the case is this is kind of like not getting to the ten of pentacles or maybe you got there this page got around to it and then this happened either way this is that energy. This is the past energy, but it's also, of course, coming up to the current energy. It's really strong here. The pulling away, the disappointment, the delay, and commitment. They're apologizing. I mean, look what the Eight of Cups is connecting right here to the Ace of Cups in reverse of just being really disappointed and feeling very let down. Right here with the Ace of Wands as well. Delay. And I got to tell you, you know, it's been hard. It can't even be for some of you. This has just been a cycle with this person and maybe why you've got that seventh wand up and have gone over here into the eight of swords. It's like, wait a minute. I'm kind of feeling like some of you have somebody else and they've either seen it or will see it again. And there's some jealousy that's going on here. And if it's at an event, boy, <laughs> they're definitely eyes are following you around maybe even them I want to say but I know it's not for everybody that it's in person but the other thing I want to tell you this ace of wands in reverse there's also a rejection energy around that and you know that's pretty strong energy water sign here as well you here in the ace of cups in reverse of just being really let down promises broken not following through Fear of commitment or not wanting to make a compromise that would allow this to con your connection to grow and thrive could be including moving. But again, next level energy is coming through really strong. But this is somebody who does love you. They love you. And they know they messed something up really bad because here's also that pentacle. They're desperately trying to get that over here into... Our nine of pentacles, nine attainment, fulfillment, things coming to fruition. Obviously, the opposite of that here in the reversal energy, they haven't let you go. They're holding on to it. We already know that they're making their way over here with an apology and with that ten of pentacles we saw. So a revealing of feelings for sure, but there's more. Ten of pentacles, sun energy. The end of no contact, no communication has been abundantly clear. Six of Wands, Eight of Wands, Three of Cups, Wheel of Fortune here. 
And it could even be that there's still kind of like you could say a, a pen in it sort of energy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is just, oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, they're all up in their head for you, Pisces. Sun and Scorpio energy, the Six of Cups. They, they're <laughs> definitely triggered. They're definitely watching. They're thinking about you. They are making some kind of plan to communicate. This is reunion energy. And if it, again, if you can see each other in person, it's for sure. The Four of Cups here, of course, right in the front. Bringing in our Four of Cups. And of course, the Five of Cups is here as well. It's right behind them. There's an apology here. There's regret. Four of Cups, incoming energy, moon and cancer here. And something's wanting to... <laughs> There it is. Yeah, this is just so incredibly cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is just what it's wanting to do. Seven of Swords. This is where this is where they were. It's kind of where they are. Look at that. Right here with the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Cups in reverse. They're running off. Not being honest about feelings. Clarity, sword energy, transactional, clarity in your relationship, truth, information, communication, all of that here, just this runner, okay? So that's a really strong, strong energy and just all this energy that flooded in. And of course, as I'm feeling strongly the four of cups coming in here and our six of cups energy, there it is. Just a validation of what I already know here. And we already saw the three of cups and it's here within the four of cups that they are, there's this element of surprise. So whether it's at an event or a SMS, email, social media, if there's a message coming in, they're going to be communicating with you. They really want to communicate with you. And you're definitely apathetic. You've been waiting. It's coming out of kind of nowhere energy. Arms crossed, apathy, you know, indifferent. Holding up the seven of wands here in the eight of swords. Like, yeah, okay. Three of Cups here, of course, validating our Three of Cups. And just really, it's, it's clear <laughs> for me. The communication here, the Mercury and Cancer energy here within our Three of Cups. Again, whether it's in person or whether, actually, I think I want to put this over here. Whether it's in person or whether, whether it's apart, it's coming in. Divine number, divine timing, communication, literally in growth, things moving again, and they're definitely wanting things to move again. This page of pentacles is looking at this pentacle like, you know, it's studying it. It's the page energy. It's kind of like a student energy. How can I get this over here? You know, I feel like kind of, I don't know, giving it over, giving it up here to our four of pentacles, but getting it in here in the nine of pentacles because they're coming in with the 10 of pentacles. It's the growing, the development of where they're at, what they want. And the sun is here, which you need. You need that sun for the pentacles. And you need this because you need to get out of the no contact, no communication and or in separation for anything to even move. These blocks out of the way. So the sunflower seeds can grow here. New cycle. This is a really happy outcome. You know, it deduces into a one. Lots of potential. And an opportunity that they're definitely taking to come in here. And here it is again, too. <laughs> so that page of pentacles, giving it to the knight of pentacles. There's a lot of humility in this particular horse, by the way. So definitely an apology. Look, their unfastened harness here. It's somebody who, yeah, wasn't ready, was reckless with your heart, was breaking promises. So I can't blame you for having your arms crossed. And even though you clearly are thinking about them too, you're thinking about each other and love each other. But there is some letdown energy here, some broken heart energy, of course, and some fear, leery energy of opening up again, opening up your heart, opening up your life, all of that. But coming in here with the pentacle, commitment energy, contract partnership, Lots of reunion energy, of course, here on their mind. Thinking they need to um, get off of this horse and fasten this harness so they don't fall off again because it's obviously kind of what's been going on here. 
And by the way, that page energy, all the energy that was just coming in was coming in with the world card. And that's more of this energy here. It's the little world we saw here in reverse. And here's a strong validation. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy of the lack of completion. This is not finished, but there have been issues. There are delays. So actual delays in travel, and it could be around a past event. It could even be upcoming if it's possible for actual, you know, travel and seeing each other. But it's also just in the way of ending no contact, no communication, and rewind a little bit here, going back into what happened to the next level, to where you were going, what happened to the promises. It's not complete. So again, marriage around this energy, life-changing decisions, next level stuff here. Somebody possibly moving, relocating, moving in, giving up something else. What is it? Because that's what got kind of got stopped. And now they're saying, yeah, because this is where they were. That's the thing. And this is where they were in the Seven of Cups. Venus and Scorpio energy. Again, as my mom would say, farting around, wasting time, taking too much time. This is a stuck energy. It's like, get out of here. It's indecisive energy. We see that also in the Two of Swords in reverse. And it's obviously around the commitment energy. It's more energy of commitment issues here that just, yeah, just stopped everything from moving. It's not finished, but you didn't reach your goals together or you were there and they chickened out. Something here happened because here they come. Here's that Ace of Pentacles. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, commitment. Next level. Investing, putting time and effort. I mean, page, here's, you know, Ace of Pentacles, the page grabbing it, handing it off to our Knight of Pentacles, who I, I still feel like is kind of going over here with our Four of Pentacles because that's making them panic. It's like, okay, I have it. I still, I really still want this. And I know I messed up, maybe even made the wrong decision or not making a decision again at all. You know, chicken, chicken and chickening <laughs> out. I almost wanted to start squawking like a chicken. <laughs> okay, that's just weird. Does somebody here have chickens? In any case, look at this. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Four of Wands. The sun energy, the ten of pentacles, we saw it coming in in the upright and here it is in the reverse. And it's all connected to this energy here of what happened. The fear of this commitment here, which we saw them in the incoming energy that they're not afraid of anymore. They work something out, at the very least they're going to try their take their chance. They're getting out of this seven of cups, all of this energy, which is why things are here. And this is, again, this connection to that because this is like the separation, the not going all the way, whatever the commitment energy is because it's life-changing next level stuff here. Again, moving, moving in, marriage, what is it? They are getting obstacles out of the way. Look at this. Our major arcana energy here in between the three of wands and the five of wands in reverse. Temperance. Sagittarius energy, Jupiter energy, the planet of prosperity and expansion, you know, things moving ahead. Now, this is a Sagittarius energy, but you share Jupiter, Pisces, with Sagittarius. And this is like a moderating energy, Archangel Michael. Hello. <laughs> that makes me crazy, that camera, but we caught it in time. What I was saying is it's Archangel Michael. The angel for protection and strength, divine justice, healing, moderating energy, just wants to get everybody on the path to the truth. Here, look at this, to the sun, which is right here. This is where Archangel Michael is trying to get everybody for everybody's highest good. What is, what's the best outcome for everybody here? For two people who love each other, who both really wanted this, and one is just hurt that is pulling back as the other one is now ready. Someone ready, somebody not, somebody available, somebody not. A whole lot of somebody was around this, your person, or the person that's coming through here today, now they are. They're on your mind too. You're both thinking about each other, but they're making some kind of plans here and those four of cups that were just coming in strong today was validated. They're <laughs> six of wands back. They wanna, 
they want to communicate and they're they're coming in with this commitment now temperance of course is connected to the heart chakra i love also, Archangel Michael specifically connecting us here to the solar plexus chakra. I do. A lot of power and information around that. I do. And just like the Wheel of Fortune, which we saw coming in, Archangel Michael specifically is also connected to the throat chakra communication. I speak, I do, I love. I do, I love, I speak. <laughs> I love you. I want to end this no contact, no communication. I want to, I want to move toward you. I want to communicate. And I, I really am ready for this. Can you forgive me? Will you forgive me? Please forgive me. I know that I did this. Ego, but what else too? Because there's the other thing with the devil, of course. It can be around vices. It could be around somebody with some overdoing a little bit of something. We even have the Seven of Swords here, of course. We know there's dishonesty around feelings. Yeah, there could be some betrayal here too. I mean, that's everything here that just threw everything where it is. Seven of Swords looking over here, kind of at the Ace of Cups in reverse because that's what happened when the Seven of Swords ran. Not being clear, possibly betrayal, lying, maybe lying by omission, by not saying things, leaving, flipping this Ace of Cups right over. And all of the life-changing decisions and energy that you were heading towards, so whether it was marriage or engagements or moving in or just going exclusive, whatever it was, it was just like an instant disappointment, you know? And the Three of Wands. The sun and Aries energy. So we see the two of wands here in reverse. Of course, we know this is the past and the current energy, but you can see also where this is going. And a strong validation again, that if there is an event, they're traveling here to it, coming here with the truth, really wanting to work this out. Five of wands in reverse, Saturn and Leo energy. Five of wands in reverse is... is one of my protégés <laughs> for temperance, for Archangel Michael, because this is really wanting to restore harmony. They really want to solve these issues. And we already saw that look coming in here with our Six of Wands, which has come back here twice now. This is the victory after the battle, timing past, obstacles they've gotten over, their commitment issues. Perhaps there are other people or things involved, location, whatever. They've worked it out. This is working it out and coming along here. We already know that. And by the way, the Five of Wands in reverse, just connecting here with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, which is some coming back in, which is returning. That's a 55, and that's a life, life change ahead here. Change is going down. Connecting here, look with our Two of Cups and our Ace of Pentacles. The Pisces, they are... This is somebody, obviously, <laughs> the love is here. So is the disappointment. They're ready. Or something changed. They're coming in here to communicate again. And there's more. They want more. And if you can see each other, here we go. Divine number, divine timing, communication. And it's around matters of the heart. Fast energy. Coming together. So this is coming together. It's the teamwork energy, you could say. And expansive energy, again, around travel, but also around the energy between you. Okay, I want to bring in some Oracle. We're shuffled and ready to go. I'm getting into the wisdom today <laughs> of the Oracle. I want to move the energy a little more, though. Let's see if there's anything else coming in. And then we'll get into some channeled love messages. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What else does Pisces need to see? Aho. No. And that's too many. Not reading Oracle in reverse, by the way. Community. It's 
coming together. So here's the thing. It could be again. Really, it's just a validation of everything here. This could be around other people. It's strong. You know? But this can also just, this is just also just coming together here. Divine creatures. They are connected to the divine giraffes. They have a whole new perspective. They can see what we can't, you know, rising above the cloud energy, the indecision. Eight is an action number. Also connected to some karma. They're definitely, there's more than just wanting to make this right. This is somebody who realizes, well, they've always known I feel like that they love you, but this is just a what did I do energy. And now there's just this kind of relentless energy I feel like coming. And again, if you are seeing each other in person, it's kind of like following you around, you know? Wow. So the divine connection, two of cups, six of cups, higher powers, validated. Not that we needed it, but it is here. And we're going to look at these in a minute coming out of the chaos and conflict and going here. This is long haul energy. This is the Ten of Pentacles, the incoming that we saw coming in. Two of Cups. It's clear. Ace of Pentacles. The Sun energy. This is like long term energy, like going all the way. What does that mean for you? That, you know, like this can just starting off, you know what I mean? But you can see it's like there's this race going on here. And this is the relentless energy that I was feeling. I kind of thought that I saw the Nine of Wands. And then a lot of times I'm seeing cards that you're not. But that was the Seven of Wands. But this is that energy. It's really just, I'm here for this. And it's coming out of this energy of the chaos and conflict. 33, a master number. Anything is possible here. And this is just really clear. I'm loving this because this is quite literally aligning with your higher power to get to get what you want, <laughs> to get what you know your worth. Here coming into this new life energy. It's strong around the person that's coming in here. You clearly love them. If this for you is getting some kind of resolution and you're going in another direction because I did feel some of you maybe even already have, then that's obviously how the message is in coming for you. And I know that might be for someone just because the mere fact that it's even coming in here now. But I'll tell you, this is the co-creation literally here with your higher power, God, Goddess, the universe, the divine, conscious, creating, you could say, manifesting energy coming into a four divine energy with our owl, the wisdom. And look, here's our cheetah too. So also for you, like going for what you want. This is coming to a three. Divine number, divine timing, new life. Look, connecting with temperance, the sun energy, the two of cups, co-creation. And for the two of you also, I have to say, there has been messages here coming through from person who was here today of please don't close please open your heart to me again it's kind of like a begging energy following you around that's also what's going on here divine connection for sure and manifesting manifesting what you want and I just realized this well manifesting it and going for it you know the intuitive energy and look it's a four and a four and that's 44 and I really like that because that's angels are with you energy it really this is a strong divine connection it just is it's just really clear for me but there's another party here <laughs> it's the person that's coming through here today was not so up on that fact, I feel like, until now, because there is a really relentless, strong pull now. 
And of course, this is also coming to an eight. And that, again, is an action number. Truth, balance, and renewal. And another note on this chaos and conflict energy, it could be that, it could also be your energy, but I feel like it's the person that's coming through here was in some chaos and conflict in their own life, which attributed to lack of clarity, broken promises, and again, either making a wrong decision or not making the right one, if you know what I mean, because they're definitely trying to make the right one now. Pisces, channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. What do you want to say to your Pisces? My world is dark without you. Please forgive me. It sort of covered up the devil in reverse. Six of cups. Yeah. It's remembering all the good. It's also remembering all the bad. The reunion energy sometimes is just a reminiscing energy for me. But Pisces is just a spin from the beginning and just is a strong, strong energy that... There is some, um, they're working something out in order to, to talk to you, reach you, send you a message, get you back in their life. And I feel like get you back. I dream of you. It's Pisces, that's your, your energy. It's the moon in reverse energy. That's the moon energy, which we saw coming in with the Three of Cups, with the revealing. Also how they feel, what they have been suppressing as well, that they love you. I'm so lost without you. I received your telepathic messages. What did you send them? <laughs> I love you. Putting this with the Two of Cups. You are so beautiful. running straight for you here. I am so sorry I hurt you. I am waiting for the right time. My world changed when I met you. So that's the thing too, the cheetah here. Getting out of here and getting here and coming to get you? That sounds so weird. Like claim your heart, confess their love, win you over. Oh, Pisces, this just got really goosebumpy. So it really is like, it's been like a pew, pew, like really triggered, really trying to make sure that they don't lose you. I fear you have moved on. Yes, that energy is super strong. Very strong, actually. Four of Cups. Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords. I'm sorry I ran right here with our Seven of Swords. So that's also obviously some of the apologetic energy coming in with our Devil in Reverse. I miss you. I don't feel good enough for you. The Tarot Closet channeled love messages. This is a faded connection, connecting us with our Wheel of Fortune. We saw coming in, and I'm putting this with higher power and Six of Cups. Look, <laughs> the heart just landed here on new life, and I love you. New beginning here. Two of Cups, new life, I love you, Ace of Pentacles, Temperance. Please, it's almost like I just heard, please pick me. So is there somebody else, Pisces? Please don't give up on me. Whoa, I'm trying to send you a message. Yes, very much the case. You inspire a love in me I never knew. Mm. 
No one can compare to you. I love you. Do you still love me? You are my person. Six of Cups. And I dream of you. I spy on you too. Page of Swords energy. Looking at their phone, their computer. If there are friends and family that you share that they can get information on, <laughs> look at that, they're doing it. You mean a lot to me. Coming in here with that cup, it's like it really is relentless. It's begging. It's there's fear, fear of you having moved on. It's been really strong. They're definitely getting here in their <laughs> sun energy, this powerful energy. I do solar plexus chakra. Interesting, you know, just even in the I do <laughs> around the chakras because. It's right here, catty corner with the two of cups. And in that particular level, as far as marriage, if that's connecting for some of you, which I know it is for some of you, that's what they were panicking about. Again, whether it's connected to location, other contracts or what. Now that this is, it's kind of like those movies where you see somebody running to catch up with someone before they leave at the airport. That is the energy that I'm feeling, Pisces. Channeled love messages. Oh, there's, I just realized this. I was wanting to bring in something else, but this is what wanted to come in. Okay. Interesting. You're beautiful inside and out. Boy, they're laying it on. You are so beautiful. I miss you. I miss you. Right here with the Two of Cups, telepathic energy, strong. I received your telepathic messages. I love you to infinity. I love you. Do you still love me? I love you to infinity. Who's answering that? I don't know how to fix this. I'm so lost without you. I'm trying. I'm sorry I ran. We are destined to be together, Pisces. Higher power. It hasn't been easy, it feels like. I regret how I left things. I mean, yeah, it's kind of everywhere here. I'm so sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry I ghosted you. It's the Eight of Cups. It's all kind of buried here now, so I'm going to put this with chaos and conflict. Your last channeled love message. Message from their higher self. I like this. Last message for you. You are my soulmate. So you are their soulmate. They're seeing you as their soulmate. Putting this here with the Two of Cups, which is <laughs> just barely seeing... One here, it's been, everything starts to get covered, but we're still seeing it there. Pisces, that is your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I would be so grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. Thank you so much. I'm sending you love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you on your journey and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye Pisces.